Good morning, church. It's a blessing to be in the house of the Lord once again. Amen. 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 And if you could please stand for the reading of God's word, those of you that can, please. And I'll be reading for you Psalms 117. And it reads, praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise him, all ye people. For his merciful kindness is great towards us. And the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Praise ye the Lord. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers and doers of his holy word. Amen. Please join me in a word of prayer. Father God, we come this morning with thanksgiving yes, in our heart. Yes, Father God, thanking you for another day that wasn't promised, promised to us. But Father, yet still you allowed us to be here. Yes. And Father God, we want to do the best of this day because we don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. Yes. But we know what we can do today. Father God, we thank you for your word. Thank we thank you. you for the congregations. Yes. We thank you for the many blessings that you have blessed upon us throughout this week. Father God, we ask your blessing upon the speaker of the hour today. Yes. Continue to bless him and keep him in your word, yes. Father God. And Father God, let the words that he preached not fall upon deaf ears, Father God. Allow someone to go out and tell someone about a living Savior. Yes. And Father God, we just thank you for thank this you. opportunity. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. These are our prayers. I pray in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. 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 Some glad morning when, when this life is over, I'll fly away in the morning when I die. I live, move, and have my being. In him, 
Oh, good morning. Our announcements for today. I would like to share with you um, that the women's prayer breakfast will be held this Saturday. I didn't hear you. Yeah. Amen. Bloom where you are planted. In 717. It starts at 9 o'clock and will end at 11 a.m. at St. Paul Lutheran Church Hall at 1635 Chester Drive in Tracy, California. Our guest speaker will be Minister Robin Williams from Cosmopolitan Baptist Church. It will be live. So we have an announcement. There is a fair for the Tracy Unified School District. They're hiring teachers, custodians, food services, maintenance and more. 
I will have it posted, but you can call the number at 830-3260 or edjoin.org slash TSUD. Tracy Unified School District is happy. Thank you for your time and may God get all the glory. Good morning, people of Christ, Missionary Baptist Church, family and friends. My name is Tamika Ward and I'm part of the finance team. If you would like to give your offering, tithes, our donation to the church, we have three simple ways. Number one, you can go to our website at pocbaptist.org. Scroll down to click on Give Online and follow the simple directions. Option two, you can text us at You can also mail a check or money order, no cash please, to 11473 West Larch Road, Tracy, California, 95304. You can also drop your tithes or offering to the church by calling us at 209-833-7258 and we'll meet you here. Thank you and God bless. Amen. I like to thank Sister Tamika. Thank the uh, Mass Communication Department. Amen. That technology is something else. Amen. Young people, we have something for you to do in here. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy. But I say good morning to all of you. I thank God for his goodness, and I'm appreciative of the presence of each and every one of you. What day is this? This is the day that the Lord has made. Now I will rejoice and be glad in it. And I'll let nothing or nobody disturb my peace of mind. Amen. Amen. I'd just like to thank each and every one of you for your uh, support, your financial support in this ministry of those that are on online. God bless you. We appreciate you. Amen. And just one other thing. Amen. I have some good news. We have two candidates for baptism. <laughs> Amen. 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 I was expecting a little more. One of the mothers said if I get up and announce it, she's going to jump up and shout and run and Amen. <laughs> Amen. God is still moving. Amen. And his church is still giving birth. Amen. Let's continue to pray for the family. Amen. It's a, um, a mom and her son that are we going into the water together. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. So let's continue to pray, church. God is moving, amen, and allow him to have his way. God bless you, and may the Lord continue to keep you is my prayer, amen.
floor. There we go. People get ready. There's a train a coming. You don't need no baggage. You just get on board. All you need is faith to hear the diesel humming. Don't need no ticket. You just thank the Lord. People get ready. There's a train to Jordan picking up passengers coast to coast. Faith is the key, open the doors in boredom. There's hope for all among those who love the most. Now, there ain't no room for the hopeless sinner who would hurt all mankind just to save his own. Have pity on those whose chances grow thinner. There's no hiding place against the kingdom's throne. So people get ready. There's a train a coming. You don't need no baggage. You just get on board. All you need is faith to hear the diesels humming. Don't need no ticket. Don't need no ticket. Don't need no ticket. You just thank the Lord. I'm doing, I am blessed, brother. I am blessed. Isn't this a glorious day that God has made for Glorious us? day to Man, be on the glory God. train. Let's give a prayer to God this morning. Praise Heavenly the Father, Lord. Father, we thank you again for another day, Lord. Amen. We thank you for waking us up this morning, Lord. Amen. Thank you right now for your traveling grace this morning. Yes. Lord. And thank you for this fabulous job we have, Lord. Amen. So all glory goes to you, Lord God. Amen. And we say thank you. In Jesus' name, we say amen. 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 Don't forget this part. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad, glad in it. Yes, shall Lord. Nothing and nobody, nobody disturb our, our peace of mind. Of mind. Amen. Brother. Amen. We don't get that this morning, man. Amen. We on this glory train, you know. No, is everything a all set up That's here? That's gonna be a little upset this morning. Okay, looking, looking like good. Bacon, looking brother. good. We know what's gonna happen today, brother. All aboard. 
This train is bound for glory. Only the righteous shall see God. But thanks be to God, before we leave this earth, we still have time to get right with God. Good morning, sister. Welcome to the glory train. Good morning, sir. State your name, please. Good morning, sir. I'm Sister Living Right. Good morning, sir. I'm Sister Living Right. And I'm here to catch that train to see the Lord. One, you can sit right up front. Here. Thank you, sir. Amen. So Amen. much. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yes, Lord. You know my name. Thank you. <laughs> well, welcome. Welcome to the glory train. May you state your name, please? Yeah, brother. Thank you. I'm Sister Living Right. <laughs> oh, do you know who I am? Because he knows my name. I am the president of the pastor's aid. Say that now. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm the president of the choir. Sing for Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm also the president. Did I say of the choir? Yes, I did. Of the pastor's aid? Uh-huh, I sure enough did. And if there's anything that needs to be done around here, don't you know they call on me? Sister Muckety Muck. And I'm right there. Oh, I'm a tired prayer. Praise you, Lord. I've been waiting a long time to get on this train. Hallelujah. I'm on my way to glory. And don't talk about my colors, because, see, I got colors for you. Purple. You know what that is? That's glory now. And I got that green, because I pays my tide. Woo, hallelujah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Baby, how you doing, sugar? Uh, mm-hmm, sure enough. Well, praise the Lord. But, you know, I've earned that seat, and I'm going to have to ask you to move. Now, get, get, get. Don't take all day. Much love to you, though, huh? Well, good morning. Welcome to the glory chain. Would you please state your name for me, please? Good morning, church. I'm sure all of you know who I am. I'm the first lady, and all this stuff you heard from this person over here, exit out, uh-uh, because I'm in charge of the choir, the usher board, the deacons, okay, the uh, youth department, finance, it's me, and quiet as it's kept, sometime even pastor, okay? So <laughs> let me tell you, all these people, all this stuff you've been hearing, I'm the one that's in charge. That's why I know I have a seat on the glory train. Hallelujah. And you know what, ladies? Gonna have to move on down a little bit. You know what? Y'all, it's getting ready to be some trouble up in here. <laughs> oh, you gonna move. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, I, 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 I gives all my tithes. I done made contributions to the building fund. I even give half of my casino winnings. Can't nobody touch me. I pays my way. And uh, I know that I, I, I paid for a front row ticket. My name is Mrs. Cash. And uh, I'm on my way to glory. <laughs> hey, First Lady. Hey, Miss Muckety Muck. <laughs> um, I, I'm sorry, sweetheart. Um, I think you're going to need to move over because um, I paid for this seat, honey. Hello there. Okay, now, I will. I am Sister News, and I have all the news right here on Facebook and Instagram. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> I'm here. I'm going my way to glory. I got my ticket. So I know. Oh, oh my goodness, y'all. I have all these liars and backsliders here, and they are going. They think they're going to glory, too. I think they're on the wrong train. But I know I'm going. All right, I'll see y'all. Thank you, um, 
Mr. Conductor. When I come in here, the church starts praising the Lord. I don't hear nobody praising him. Nobody praising him. I'm Sister Praise, y'all. I come in this church Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I come in real strong. I'm up in here, and I know I'm going to glory. I know, oh, uh, wait a minute, First Lady, where do you think you're going? My goodness, and oh, Miss Sister Muckety Muck, I know you ain't got nothing to say with that purple and green. That ain't even right. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Ooh, I don't really know how to use this thing. Oh, Sister Cash, how much money you got? You know you owe me from last night. Where was we at? Woo! Girl, what? What? Keep, what? keep it moving. What? I ain't got nothing for you. Because you know you ain't going nowhere looking like that. Get up, Sister Living Right. There is some confusion. She's trying to act like she's so better than everybody else. Hallelujah. God has been good to me. I'm trying to sit down. Well, good morning. Welcome to the Glory Church. ready to go. <laughs> Look, they always trying to get me to do all these programs, youth department programs, WMU. I said, I ain't the one, no. I ain't the one to be telling people how to live right, what to wear to church, because, you know, I did my thing. My mama out there, she know. I did my <laughs> thing. I didn't let the left hand know what the right was doing, okay? All right. So look, let me on this train. Who's in my seat? What you looking at? You don't have consent. <laughs> you, my seat. You gonna have to go, cause I ain't the one. morning. Welcome to the Glory Train. Could you please state your name, please? My name is Sister Chance, and I want you all to know that I've been on this road to glory for a long time. And you see, I'm here to teach you all how to do it. Because you see, people think they're going to heaven. They ain't going there. But I'm going to show you all the right way. You got to live right you got to treat your neighbor right. You got to pay what's due. You got to do the thing. When they call on you to do something, you need to get up and do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I right about it, sister? You so right about it. That's what you do. That's right. That's right. You don't waste no time because, see, tomorrow is not promised to you. So, therefore, whatever you're going to do for God, you need to do it now. Thank you. Well, good morning, sister. Good morning. How are you today? How is the pastor? Oh, all right then. Uh, picture time? Oh, this way. Hey, sister Cash. Hey, girl. All right. All right. Thank you. Good morning. You you know I got some things I got to teach you. Because you young and you fast. You got to slow it down for Jesus. He ain't in no hurry. How you doing? Praise the Lord. All right, huh? sister. How you doing? God is good. But you got to move. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just got to move for Jesus. <laughs> I beg your pardon. You have got to move. This seat has been dedicated to me. Thank you. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. Y'all knew I was going to make it. I got my ticket. Well, 
made it myself. Thank you. <laughs> Anywho, everybody, like Sister Chan's just said, all of y'all ain't going. All y'all ain't gonna make it and already know. I'm Sister Ain't So. And what they done said about me, it ain't so. I'm part of that CME crew, you know, the ones that come to church on Christmas, Mother's Day, and Easter. So I know I come on the most important Sundays, so I know I'm going to make it. Uh-huh. Thank you. I would say good morning, but I don't like the look on y'all faces. Uh oh, but hey, and last night. Ow, eh. go go there because we on our way to glory well good morning Don't welcome start to the glory with stream. that tambourine girl Ooh. oh i thought we was on the smoke. glory train i guess we're on the homeless train oh, since they're living right i forgot the bag of clothes for you i got you next time oh. but them shoes ain't gonna make it uh, but you in my seat you in my seat. And hurry it oh, up. You're Jesus, taking too much time. She's in my seat. <laughs> hurry it up. Strip, strip. You can do it. That's her Please, can you take those raggedy shoes and get out of my seat? Thank you. Come on, my Rolex is saying it's time to go. The Rolex. Uh -oh. I'll have some time alive. And here I am. All right, they call me Sneak Around. I'm she sure, be sneaking I'm not around. Sure where they got that name from? Sister sneak around. So they say it. That's what sneaky saying. sneak. But I've been trying to get here. I've been trying to get here. They said here in the morning. Y'all know she don't like getting up. Glory early. train. Yeah. So I've been getting here. I'm here. I just gave you my ticket. I'm going to go and have my seat. Please do. But I tell you what, it's hot. <laughs> that, they said morning time. It's hot in the morning time. I'm an Aye evening yeah. person. But here I am. Mm. I had my ticket. And I'm going to take my seat. And I want all y'all to be quiet. Ooh. Just Ooh. walk through to my seat Ooh. and leave me alone, sisters. <laughs> Amen. <Yeah>. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory be to God. I'm on my way. Oh, yeah. What time did you get in this morning? Shh. Shh. I, well, no. None of y'all's mm -mm. business. Just leave me alone. Mm -mm. I'm here. I had, you my, I had my ticket. That's all I needed was a ticket. Mm -mm. Not none of y'all. Mm, why she smell like Jack Daniels? I, oh. oh, my goodness. Uh. Well, I'll say. Excuse me. Excuse me, sister. But I think you in my seat. I hope her I'm shirt so isn't on inside out like over. I think. So I can have a seat and all y'all can be quiet. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Yeah, over there. That, that one. Yes. Thank you very much. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm still talking, and I'm going to have my seat, because I had a ticket. Attention, ladies. This train is bound for glory. Amen. But we have a few stops to make on the way. Our first stop is West Hill. We going the I wrong said, way. I said West Hill. None can walk up there but the pure in heart. It's a high I'm walking up the King Highway. 
Attention right. ladies, the next stop is East Hill. All foreigner kittens and adulterers. This is your stop. Sister Chance. Jesus, is that you, and Jesus? Sister, it ain't so. What? what? This is your stop. What the hell did, what did you say? Sister Chance and Sister Ain't So, this oh, is your wait, stop. Wait, 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 now. You sisters chose the hotel over Bible study? What? Shame on you. He trying to tell all of you. Now you can go have your hot dates at Hotel Hell. Hot dates at Hotel Hell. Come on, off. You this is your stop. Come on, get off. No this time. is your stop. I you should have went to right. Bible study. You chose the hotel. Come on. I come to this is your stop. Christmas Mother's This is your stop. No, you should have went to Bible study. Come on, get off the train. Come on, come on. Hotel Hell has plenty of hot dates for you. Come on, come on, come on. Off the train, please. Off. Next stop, South Hill. You can't buy nor lie your way into heaven. Come on out, Sister Cash. <laughs> Sister Cash, this is your stop. It was very nice of you to be so given with your cash, but our God does not want your money. I paid my time. He waits, wants faithful, obedient servants who loves him. He doesn't need your money. It's your stop. Come on. You can't buy your way into heaven, Sister Cash. They got a Gucci store down there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sister Muckety Muck. What? This is your stop. Uh-uh. Sister Muckety Muck, you got a great resume for heaven. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. But our God does not wreck right titles or auxiliaries. You was pastor's aide and president of this board, president of the choir, but he doesn't recognize titles or auxiliaries. He recognizes our heart. This is your stop. <laughs> uh, you, you had something to do with this, you always. He well, recognizes our heart, Sister Muckety Muck. You, you know I was there for you. It's pastor, time to go. please help me out here. It's I'm time not, I'm to not go. going. This is your stop. <laughs> Sister Muckety Muck, it's time to go. The train must keep moving. Thank you. Can I go say something to Sister Living Right? Mm. Too late for that. You had plenty of time to talk to Sister Living Right. She set a great example. She was living right. Not you, Sister Muckety Muck. I'm going to sing my way out. No. And Sister News. Your ticket has been voided out. Didn't you know that gossip was a sin? All the Facebook and the telephone. Well, you're going to have plenty of hot gossip to talk about where you're going. This is your stop. Gossip is a sin, Sister News. No more Facebook, no more telephone. This is your stop. Y'all can still find me on IG Live. Thank you. Hashtag bless.
Oh, cut it. <laughs> Next stop, Hell's Main Gate. All peacebreakers and acting saints. Give the high praise. I'll be praising the Lord every day. Uh-uh, wait a minute. The phone not working. No, I can't visit the sick. They got germs. Uh-uh. the hungry. What? Uh, ooh, I got that kind of money to be feeding them people. No. Christians no, can't make it into heaven. Acting Christians can't make it into heaven. But I've been I knew that. Stop. This I've been is your stop. God. This is your stop, oh Sister High Praise. I don't want to go to hell with them people that back there already. Them people. The second commandment says, the Love thy neighbor as you love thyself. You didn't do none of that, Sister High Praise. It's better to give than to receive. This is your stop. This is your stop. This is your stop. This is your stop. Sister sneaking around. Your name speaks for itself. Oh, you should There's no up. backbiters or hypocrite in heaven. Off you go. <laughs> it's your actions that got you that name. Sister sneaking around. You sneak under the cover of darkness. Well, you don't have to sneak anymore. It's dark where you're going all day and all <laughs> night. Come on, let's get off the train. Come on, let's go. No more sneaking around. I don't even know around. how she Come got on. on this train. Snuck around a little bit. <laughs> so I should still be able to go. What'd you say? They shouldn't even let you on the train. I know you have a word to say. I don't know why you still sitting here. <laughs> and I don't know why you still sitting here either. I, I, I'll tell I, you in a moment. It's coming. It's all coming. Let me hear it now. You know what? You need to get off this train. <laughs> you I just don't think they it's right. They shouldn't let you on in the first place. Is that why I'm getting off? Because of my name? Yes, ma'am. Oh, my goodness. Speaking you've been doing. I've been praising the Lord. Okay, I've been worshiping the Lord. There's a bunch of sneakers where you're going. They gave me that <laughs> name. They gave me that name. Uh, yes. N not me. Stop living up to it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my Amen. goodness. Amen. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and Sister Parsons. You kept quiet and your head down like I was going to overlook you. I don't know. And you've been riding on the coasters, pastor's coat shirt tail? You know what? You should have been riding on Jesus' shirt tail. Oh, Jesus is the way, the life, and the truth. Let me tell you something. And the only way through the Father is through Jesus, uh, not you know the what? pastor. You can't keep riding pastor's shirt tail. This you should ask him who shirt tail he's riding. I'm quite oh, sure wait. he would have said, Jesus. You know what? This is why I can't. This is why I'm supposed to be on this train. Yes, ma'am. You won't let me say a word. Mm -mm. I'm pastor's wife. And besides, I can't get out of this seat anyway. So anyway. Parsons, it's time to go. This is your stop. I can't make it. Do you see I can't make it? Do you see I can't get, get up out of this? Oh, Come on. No. Get on up. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, you you riding pastor's coattail. You should pastor. be riding Jesus' coattail. Pastor, Come pastor, on. pastor. You need That's to tell them. Uh-uh. Pastor uh -uh. can't co-sign you into heaven. Let me tell you one thing. You can't co-sign for you in heaven. None of the auxiliaries are going to work without me. Did no. you hear what I said? Yes. Pastor, you know you need to speak up now. You need to speak up right now. Save me, okay? I need to go to glory. Yes. Glory <laughs> to God, not to you. This is not a good thing, folks. Uh-uh. <laughs> but God sees and knows each one of us. Including you, sister, I am not the one. God wants willing servants. You wasn't willing to do nothing. You couldn't preach the word. You couldn't show the people how to live right. You didn't want to do nothing. So guess what, sister, I'm not the one. You are not the one that's going to heaven today. <laughs> this is your stop. It's time to get off. The word in Matthew 28, 19 tells us to go. That was a command. He didn't ask us. He said, go, therefore, teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. But you said you didn't want to preach the good living of God, not the word. 
So come on, sister, I am not the one. You are not the one that's going on to heaven today. This seat needs to be empty. It's time for you to go. Off you go. Last stop, heaven. Only the righteous shall see God. Welcome home, Sister Living Right. To God be the glory. One soul saved is one soul God gets the glory for it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Wander far away from God, and now I'm coming, I'm coming home. The path of sins too long I thought, so now I'm coming. I'm coming home, coming home, I'm coming, I'm coming home, never more to roam, open wide thy arms of love. Lord, I'm coming, I'm coming home, coming home, I'm coming, I'm coming home, yeah, all to roam, open wide. Thy arms of love, Lord, I'm coming, I'm coming home, coming home, I am coming, I'm coming home, there, oh, to roam. Open wide thy arms of love, and Lord, I'm, I'm coming Talk about heaven. Only the righteous shall see God. Glory. There won't be no liars there. There won't be no hypocrites there. No backbiters, no adulterers or whoremongers. Only the righteous shall see God. But thanks be to God, before we leave this earth, we still have time to get right with God. We can ask for forgiveness and turn from our wicked ways. First John 1, verse, chapter 1, verse 9 states, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I pray you will make it to the final destination of the glory train like Sister Living did. God bless you all. Amen. Don't let it be said too late, too late to enter the golden gate. Don't let it be said too late. 
Church, say amen. 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 I don't know about you, but I really enjoyed. Amen. Hey, wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful. Amen. 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 Uh, God bless us. Sister Aunt Joy Daniels. Amen. Amen. Director of the Glory Train and Amen. All of the actors and wonderful job. Awesome. This awesome, 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 awesome job. Amen. And I'm so glad y'all is such a good mood and praising God. Amen. 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 There is a word. Amen. <clears throat> Let's go to the word. In the gospel as recorded by Luke. You made this real easy for me. Because look, there's a hymn said, Heaven. Everybody talking about heaven ain't going to heaven. Amen. Amen. Do we got a text here? Now remember, we'll be reading from the King James Version. Amen. And there are some commas. There's some colons, there's some semicolons, there's some periods. So what am I saying? Take your time when you read the scripture, amen? amen. God bless, we be reading from the King James Version, amen. Uh, whatever uh, translation you may have is other than King James, will you please maybe read it to yourselves? We want to read in unison, amen? Amen. Amen. God bless you. We'll be reading uh, <clears throat> from Luke chapter 16, verses 19 through 31. Very familiar passage of scripture. When you there, say amen. amen. And it says what? That there was a rich man who was clothed in fine linen fair sumptuously and there was a certain beggar which laid at his gate and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table moreover the dog came and licked his sores when he came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man died and was buried. And in hell, being in torment, afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. Father Abraham, And cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember, receive thy good things, and likewise Lazarus' evil things. But now he is comforted, and besides all this, there is a great gulf fixed. Cannot. Neither can they pass to us. 
Then he said, I pray thee therefore, Father, that thou wilt send him to my father's house. For I have five brothers, that he may testify unto them. This place of torment, Abraham said unto him, They have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went unto them from the dead, repent. And he said unto him, if they hear not Moses and the prophets, will they be persuaded from the dead? Amen. 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 <clears throat> I'd like to tag this text with your prayers, but above all, with God's presence. Don't go to hell. You may be seated. Don't go to hell. Can I say that one more time? Don't go to hell. Father God, we come in the precious name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness, your mercy, and your grace. We thank you, Lord, that it is you that made a way out of no way. And you made a way that, that we can leave this earth and we can be heaven bound. Lord, you said, choose you this day who you will serve. Will it be God or will it be man? Realizing that this is the day that you have made. And Lord, we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Lord, for another day. But, Lord, we realize tomorrow is not promised to us. I thank you for your Holy Spirit that dwells deep down within. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing right now and what you will do. Lord, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord, you are my strength, and you are my redeemer. It is in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Don't go to hell. Oftentimes, uh, <clears throat> I was uh, living in Oakland. I was a part of a men group men Bible study group and we would go to certain prisons we would walk the streets of Oakland evangelizing and witnessing the people walking up and down the street now there's many different ways of evangelism of sharing Christ one way that I enjoyed that I would see it while I'm walking, mainly we walk down the streets of East 14th, if anybody know the streets of East 14th. And we would walk down those streets. And I always pray, God, if you send someone my way, give me a word to share with them. Someone would be coming, and I would, good morning, sir, good morning, ma'am. My name is Edward. And I'm here to share Christ with you this morning. Do you have a little time that I can share Christ with you? And 90% of the time, the person would say, yes, I, I have time. And I'd say, well, ma'am, uh, sir, I just have one question for you. If you were to die right now, where would you spend eternity? Right now, where would you spend eternity? And the majority would, they wouldn't know. I, I, I'm, I think, I, I think I, I'd go to heaven. But see, no one would say, 
I'm going to hell. I think I'm going to heaven. And there's always a follow-up question. Okay, if you think you're going to heaven, how do you know? Well, you know, I was baptized in so-and-so church. Uh, oh, we had a witness right here this morning. Many of the same answers. I, I go to church. My mama go to church. Uh, uh, I, I give money to the church. But those things, what we just witnessed this morning, don't save you. They, they, they don't save you. But that is an opportunity to share the truth of God's word. That, that, and that all of us, all of us have people in our families, friends, loved ones. And if we be honest, we believe they're on their way to hell. Yeah, and I do understand that uh, uh, hell is not a popular topic. Even though we had fun this morning, but it's not a popular topic. And it, think about it. How many sermons have you heard preached about hell? A sermon on hell, it is not easy to preach. Y'all helped me out this morning. Thank you, Angel. It's not easy to talk about, it, and then it's not easy to hear. But by the grace of God, my goal simply is to declare what God said. It is written. What God said, and it is my prayer that the Holy Spirit will speak to your heart this morning. And one thing is this, that hell is real. Hell is real. When we go to the Bible, we can discover that Jesus clearly believed in hell. Matter of fact, Jesus talked more about hell than he talked about heaven. He had more to say warning people about hell than he did inviting people to go to heaven. Most of what we know about hell comes from the lips of Jesus. There was a man, he went up to the pastor and he said, Pastor, I don't think you should preach any more fire and brimstone. You should preach about the meek and mild Jesus. The pastor replied, he said, but, but Jesus is the one who gave me all the information about hell. Jesus believed in hell. The apostles believed in hell. The Christian church has always believed in hell. But there are so many people that don't believe in hell. You would be shocked to know how many people believe that there is no hell. Then there's many a people that believe that you can die and that is the end of your existence. There are those that believe that you, you can die and you go to a holding place somewhere and, and I can pray you out. I can buy you out. I can go to the priest and he'll get you out. But let me tell you something. Sure as there is a heaven, there is a hell. There is an up and there is a down. There is a right way, and there is a wrong way. There is life, and there is also death. Hell is a real place. And let me tell you this. Hell is a prepared place for an unprepared people. Can I just make it plain? Hell is is a prepared place for unprepared people. Just as heaven is a prepared place for a prepared people. Did not Jesus say, let not your heart be troubled? You believe in God, you believe also in me? 
Come on, preacher. In my father's house is many mansions. If it was not so, I'd have told you so. He said, I'm going to. For who? For believers. This ain't no get right, church. You ought to be right. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. For believers, it is a prepared place for a prepared people. Hell is for an unprepared people. Let, let me move on. I, I was just sharing a few weeks ago. I ain't, I ain't dropping no names, but a member, every now and then I get these emails and texts. And uh, just remember, I, I, my, somebody gave me a teacher T-shirt, and it said, caution, pastor. Whatever you say or do can be used in a sermon. Can I get a witness? <laughs> so, so I got this email and I said, oh, Pastor, I love your sermon. See, because before, when I was a little girl and I said, oh, I said, it was a girl, oh, Lord. Um, and all the pastor preached about was hell and fire and, and brimstone. And, and, and you don't do that. Well, I'm, I hope I'm still your friend. <laughs> but I do understand, I understand this. Where I stand, this is not a popularity contest. Amen. Amen. But look, look, okay, okay, come on, come on. And, and there was a rich man. It might have been a rich, it could be a rich woman also that was clothed in purple. <laughs> Lord have mercy. And was clothed in purple and fine linen and fair sumptuously every day. Meaning he, he has joyous living. He has splendor every day. Yeah. Then in verse 20, it says, And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which laid at the gate full of sores. The beggar was a believer. The rich man was an unbeliever. So it went on to verse 21, and, and, and it says, And desiring Lazarus are designed to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. And moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. That rich man, that wealthy man, he had every good thing in life that life had to offer. He had it all. Yeah. Lord, I, I, some, who was that? Oh, I ain't, had, had it all. Yeah. And verse 22, and it came to pass, the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. Yeah. Now here it is, you know, there were some differences between the two. One was rich, one was poor. One was healthy, one was sick. Contrasting differences, but now they have something in common. The rich man died. Abram, Lazarus died, the rich man also died and was buried. They had nothing in common in life, but one day both suffered an event common to all human beings. Death comes to the rich as well as the poor. It comes to the white as well as the black. It comes to the high as well as the low. None dare not say I will not die. But however, after the death, each experience a complete reversal of fortune. Uh -huh. 
The poor man died, and the angels took him to Abraham's side, or his, his bosom, meaning that he went to heaven. But when the rich man died, he suffered, tormented in hell. Lazarus was alive in heaven, and the rich man was alive in hell. Oh, yeah. Eternity. Okay, all right, check this out. You don't believe me? Let's look at this text. You'll be able to see that the rich man, he could see, he could hear, he could feel, he could recognize, he could remember, he could speak, he could reflect, he could plead, he could suffer, he could even think ahead. Give me verse 23. Because it says right there, in hell, he lifted up what? And he what? Seeth Abraham afar off. And Lazarus in his bosom. What is that saying? He could see and feel. He also, he could recognize. Okay, give me verse 24. I, see, I ain't getting no amens. Don't y'all tune me out already. It's almost over. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. For I am tormented in this flame. I am in agony in this flame. So what does it say? He cried. He pleaded. He could speak. He could suffer. He could feel. Abraham, he calls Abraham as his father. So that tells us right there he was a Jew. He was a descendant of Abraham. He was a member of the covenant people of Israel. See, the Jews thought that they were right with God. Or, 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 even today, they have a sense of entitlement. I don't know who was sitting up there. A sense of entitlement. Because of where I sit and how, how much money I have. Or how, how often I come to church or do I go to Bible study? Do I go to prayer meeting? Am I in a choir? Am I a deacon? Am I, am, I, am I? I'm entitled. I should be in heaven. So give me 25. But. Abraham said, son. Remember. Somebody say, remember. remember. He could remember. Lord have mercy. Can I just pump the brakes for a minute? Remember. He could hear. And he could remember. I just want to warn some people. Hell, you, those that accept, that deny Jesus, that choose to go to hell, it is your choice. You will remember. You will remember that invitation that the preacher gave. Come to Jesus. Give your life to Christ. You will remember. Choose you this day who you will serve. Will it be God or will it be man? You will remember when mama and daddy said, come on to church. Give your life to Christ. You're going to remember. When you chose the Lexus and the Audi. Escalate. Anybody? No. I ain't talking about nobody. Oh, Lord, I already said Audi. BMW. <laughs> Mercedes. You're going to remember. Seek ye first. The kingdom of God. And his righteousness. And all other things. Will be added unto you. 
you're going to remember the choices you made. Give me 26. And he says, and besides all of this, between you and I, there's a great gulf that is fixed. So this is what we're saying right here. Hell, there's one way in and no way out. No one can cross over. You can't go and no one else can come to you. Give me 27. I'm almost there. Then he said, I pray there, Father, that you would, that you would send to my father's house. So he could reflect. He could look ahead. And he said in verse 28, I, I have five brethren that he may testify, that he may be able to tell them, he may be able to warn them so they will not come to this place of torment. He could even think ahead. He could see, he could hear, he could feel, he could recognize, he could remember, he could speak, he could reflect, he could plead, he could suffer, he could even think ahead. But there's only one thing the man in hell couldn't do. Heaven? Everybody talking about heaven? Ain't going to heaven. He couldn't get out. He was trapped there forever. And, and, and look here, I don't want no trouble. This text tells us there is no purgatory. I'm ready to go. It's getting quiet. I'm bringing the glory train back. Give me 29. <laughs> Abraham said unto him, they got Moses. Come on, enjoy. They got the prophets. Let them hear them. But he went on and said, no, 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 Father Abraham. But if one went unto them from the dead, they will repent. Abraham said, wait a minute. They have Moses. They have the prophets. They should listen to them. Matter of fact, what he's saying, your brothers have God's word. Let them hear. Let them hear. If they believe that God's promises of eternal life, like Father Abraham did, they will be saved. But that wasn't good enough for the rich man. I want a miracle. Lord have mercy. I ain't going to go there. Show me another miracle. Lord have mercy. We're living in some dangerous times, people. Desperate times brings about desperate measures. Give us a miracle. Give us a resurrection from the dead. And they will repent. They will believe. <laughs> Abraham ended that conversation. If they won't listen to Moses and the prophets, they will not be persuaded from the one that was dead, buried, and early third day morning got up with all power in his hand. Jesus performed countless miracles. Jesus gave sight to the blind. The lame could walk. The deaf could hear. He, he raised another Lazarus from the grave. Gave you all the miracles. But the Jews refused to believe he was the Messiah. Their hearts, their hearts were hard. They were unwilling to believe. Death comes to all. God so loved the world. 
God did everything necessary to keep everyone from going to hell. How did he do it? When he gave Jesus Christ as the substitute for sin of the world. Let me help somebody. Y'all struggling with taking the vaccine? Well, let me tell you this. God has an anti-hell vaccine, and it is called the blood of Jesus that is available to all who believe and who trust for salvation and eternal life. All we have to do is believe. Anti-hell vaccine. Huh. Uh, but will you take it? Will you take it? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, what's in it? Look, help me, Holy Ghost. Right? Y'all stop. No. If we believe, if we believe the words of Jesus are true, if we believe that there is a heaven to gain and a hell to avoid, if we believe our friends and our loved ones face eternity apart from God in some horrific place, should we not do more than we are doing to rescue those who are perishing? Warn them. Don't ever say it's too late. It's too late. What do people need to believe to escape from hell? What do they need to believe? They need to believe the truth about God's word. And not all this, who wrote the Bible? Who was King James? Was it a white man? Was it a black man? Believe. And they need to believe that sinners must repent. They need to believe that salvation is God's sovereign grace, for it is by grace we are saved, through faith, not works. They need to believe that God forgives sinners. Why? Because he is a forgiving God. They need to believe that God's gracious salvation and forgiveness of sin is by faith alone. There was a man by the name of Albert Campus, and he said this, he wrote this, I'd rather live my life like there is a God and die and find out there isn't then live my life like there isn't a God and die and find out there is. If you believe, you trust, and you had the faith that Jesus died on the cross for your sins, you will be saved. Hell is a choice. You choose to go. It's a choice. And, and that choice also is for you to go to heaven. Can, can, can I just be transparent and real with you? I, uh, I decided to make Jesus my choice. Why? Because I wanted to see my granny and papa again. I wanted to see my mother. But then I found out there was a man that died for my sins. And I wanted to learn about him that he would die for a wretch like me. Because I don't deserve his grace. All I deserve is death, hell, and the grave. But he died for me. 
went to an old rugged cross. They put nails in his hands. They put nails in his feet. They pierced him in his side. And he died the early third day. He got up for me. And one of these old days, I'm going home. I'm going to see my granny. I'm going to see my papa. I'm going to see my mama. But when I see Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, when I see Jesus, hallelujah, when I see Jesus, thank you, Lord, for saving me. There may be someone here this morning. If you listen to the glory train, all those that thought they were going and the reasons behind their decision, there's only one way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. There may be someone here this morning, you, the question, do you want to be saved? Do you want to be made? Do, do you want to go to heaven? Or do you want to go to hell? The choice is yours. If you want to go to heaven, you would pray this prayer with me. Dear God, thank you for sending your son Jesus to die on the cross for my sins. I confess to you, God, like everyone else in here, including the preacher, I have messed up. I have sinned. I have fallen short, but I just thank you for sending your son Jesus to die on the cross for my sin. Thank you that he rose third day Sunday morning, giving me new life. Lord, I invite you now to come into my heart by the person and the power of your Holy Spirit. Clean me up. Make me new. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The Bible says it is written, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you are saved right now the question is do you want to be saved do you want to be made whole and if you said that prayer you are saved right now but then the next question is this have you been baptized baptism is the first step to obedience to following Jesus so have you been baptized we will baptize you here. Some of us were young and we got baptized. We really didn't know what we were doing. When I was young, I thought like a child. I acted like a child. But now I'm a man. And I even make man decisions, woman decisions. We will baptize you here. So you say, that, well, I'm saved and I've been baptized. But do you have a church home? As I said, we're living in some dangerous times. This pandemic is not over. And the church is scattered. People want to have church at home. Want to have church on the internet. There's only so much church I can do on TV. The Bible said, forsake not the assembling of ourselves together. 
Why? That we may encourage one another, that we may support one another. That's why we should come together. So I ask, do you have a church home? If not, I invite you to People of Christ Missionary Baptist Church. And understand this, that we are not a perfect church because I am not a perfect pastor, but we serve a perfect God. I invite you. I invite you. There may be one, and you can meet me in, in my office, or if you're online, you can call us at area code 209. 833-7258. The church say amen. 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 And, and being led by the Holy Spirit. Being led by the Holy Spirit. A warning. A warning. I know I have been called by God to pastor in this place. I know, I don't have a doubt about that. He sent me here. He has anointed and appointed me to be an overseer over his people. I want to warn you, because if something happened once, it will happen again. It will. Now, I want to give warning to people of Christ, and warning you is also, and you go and you warn your children and your grandchildren, one about heaven and hell. But then there's another thing. Give me Revelation, I brought up Revelation, the 20th chapter. We had talked about this in Bible study and uh, one of the mothers said, Pastor, you need to teach that in church. And uh, and I said, well, Mother, uh, let me pray on it. And God said, this is the time. This is the time. I don't want, take me to verse 10, but we're going to start at verse 10. But I want you to read the pretext, okay, in your own study time, all right? Because there's a lot there. The more I dig in, the more I'm going to have to unpack. In our Bible study, we talked about events, future events that will occur. One being the rapture, the tribulation, the millennium period, the thousand years, and also the end, the final battle, which it won't be a battle, but when you read the Bible, it is written. This is what I'm trying to say. I'm not going to mention any names, but there was a gentleman, and he had a huge following of people following him, huge. And all of a sudden, he came up with this doctrine of inclusion. Inclusion. What was he saying? He said the devil has a chance to go to heaven. He's saying that the devil has a chance to be reconciled back to God. He's saying the devil has a chance to go to God and ask for forgiveness. That ain't what the Bible says. If it was said once, it will be said again. And what I'm telling people right here or whoever is listening, that is a lie from the depths of hell. And I'm going to give you what the word of God says. And it is up to you to share with your families. Because a time is going to come. You're going to look for me. I'm going to be gone. And some of your family members that don't want to receive Christ. Tell them anyway. So when it happens, they could go back to the word and say, oh, mama told me. G -g Granny, they told me. Look at verse 10 real quick. And it says, the devil that received them 
was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and they shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. So how can he go to heaven? How can he repent? It's already written. It's already be prophesied. Go to verse 11. And then he said, I saw a great white throne. Understand it. If you won't come to Bible study, I got to give you a little bit here. The believers, we go to the judgment seat of Christ. Unbelievers go to the great white throne of judgment. So I saw a great white throne and on him that sat on it from whose face the earth and the heaven fleed away. And then there was found no place for them. Come on, give it to me, son. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. Listen to me, church. And the books were open. And another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. Come on. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. What that rich man experienced was the first death. There's coming, and he was in hell. Now he will be thrown into the lake of fire with the devil, with the antichrist, with the false prophets, with the demons, and whoever else choose to go. But verse 15, who's, and whoever was not found written in the book of life That's why I want you to understand. When I ask, do you want to give your life to Christ? I'm not talking about church membership. You can have your name written on POC book. Come on, bro, help me. But is your name written in the book of life? There's a whole bunch of folks. You better go home, talk to your family. Oh, I'm a member of POC. Oh, Pastor Roland, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, Reverend. I hear it time and time and time again. But is your name written in the book of life? If not, this is the word of God. It, devil, it is written. Your name is not in the book of life. You'll be cast to the lake of fire. This is just a warning. I look, I ain't trying to scare nobody, make you all unnerved up and no. See, I don't have a problem talking about hell and the tormenting and the agony and the gashing of teeth and the, this worm that is appointed to those that will slowly eat away from them forever and ever and ever. You know why it don't bother me? Because I ain't going. <laughs> Don't bother me. I just shared, I just shared, I was on the job site, and I did something, I ain't had no business, messed up this cat, and he got mad at me and started cussing me out, and then he told me to go to hell. I said, I ain't going. Say whatever you want. I ain't going. Because Jesus died for me. <laughs> he shed his blood for me. And he got up for me. I'm on my way to glory. I'm going to sing and shout. Nobody there can put me out.
It is eternal. It is everlasting life. Church, say amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. Amen. I know y'all ain't used to this kind of ending, but I have to be obedient to God. I have to be obedient. I want to be approved by God. I'm not a people pleaser. I want God to be pleased. Amen. But enjoy. Thank you so much. Our Black History Program Director, amen. Thank all that were involved, amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God, amen. The best one ever. We, we might have to do this every year. I'm not going to preach the same text every time. Somebody's, I ain't coming, <laughs> amen. 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 Let's, let's stand. Do we have the song? Amen. I'll just thank. Yeah, there it is, Angel. I know you want it. We're going to end our, uh, our history goes on and on. Let's not let our heroes die and our sheroes die. Amen. Let's join in and lift every voice and sing. Amen.
thank you so much. We continue to stand for our benediction. After our benediction, you'll be in the hands of the ushers. They will come, you'll be seated, they will come and escort you through this door. Amen. Uh, we have hand sanitizers right there. We have a basket just in case you want to pay your tithes or give your offering right there as you exit out. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, visitors, uh, for coming. We thank God for your presence. Amen. Now let's look unto the hills for which cometh our help. Our help cometh from the Lord who created heaven and earth. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before his presence with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be both glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forever, may we all say, Amen. Be seated. Amen.